The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter was made possible by a contribution from USAopoly. Hello and welcome to another special episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad, and today Mom is going to be joining me as we play Rollers Deluxe from USAopoly. Now, this game is played kind of Yahtzee style, where we're going to be rolling dice, we're going to be trying to open and then close certain numbers on our player board, and we also are going to basically use that in order to get money from the other players. So, let me show you how the game plays, uh, watch Mom and Dad play, and then we're going to tell you what we think of it. Okay, we are going to play to five points, and you can see here is our player board here, and this will be our score track up there. The way we score points is we are going to try to fill our board. Now, the way we do that, we're going to be rolling dice that you see there, kind of Yahtzee style, and we are going to both open and close our numbers. So we need one one, two twos, three threes in order to open these, and then we just need a single one in order to close it. The way we're going to score the points is the first player who closes everything on their board will get two points. Now, another player can score one point by having the most money. Now, the way we get the money from other players is once we have one of the numbers closed on our board, anytime we roll that number uh, and save that off, then we're going to collect that much from all other players. So, had my threes closed and I rolled a three, then I can get three bucks from mom. So whoever has the most money at the end of each round is going to score a point. So let me show you these dice that we have. We have the green ones have a star on them, and this is a wild one. This replaces the six. The red one has the Harry Potter symbol, is what we call it. Uh, we also usually say something uh, bad whenever we get this because when this is rolled, it cancels everything that was rolled that turn. We so we can't Voldemort. use it. What? We should say Voldemort. No, we don't speak his name. <laughs> so we don't want to see this one come up. So we are going to be rolling these Yahtzee style. You're first going to roll all of these dice, and then you're going to select which ones to keep. So, all right, so I'm going to do a sample roll here, and you'll see that I've got a couple of stars. So I know I've got a couple wild ones and a four. And it's always good to get that red die out of there so you don't get the uh, Harry Potter symbol to come up, as I like to call it. So now I have two more rolls. And I rolled another star, so I'm going to keep that. So I can at least open my fours. And the two I can't do anything with since it's a single, but the one I can actually use to open my ones. So what I will do on my player board here is, since I had enough to open my fours, I will place my marker on my player board there. And since I open my ones, I can place my marker uh, on my board like that. So then I'm ready to uh, go on to the next turn. The dice go over to the next player and we keep rolling until somebody clears or somebody closes everything on their board. So that really is all there is to Rollers Deluxe. So, Mom, do you want to go first, or do you want me to go first? I'll go first. Okay. And our lovely rolling board here. Oh, nice, yeah. It's, it's got a mouse head on there. Look what I got. Nothing. I need another five. Yes. You got it. So I opened my fives, and that is all I can do. Yeah, can't do anything with that single four. Okay. Well, got a straight. <laughs> I do have a straight, but I think I am going to take these out at least. Yeah, let's keep that one out. Oh Ooh. man! Okay, so I can open and close my one. I can open and close my twos. And since I have an extra two left over because these are the ones I used, then I can collect two dollars. Thank you. $2. And I didn't mention, but we each start with 10 of the green fives 
and five of the white ones. Uh-oh, you're going to hit me for a lot of money. Oh, wow. Oh. So you're going to use one of those to close, and then you're going to hit me yes. for 20 bucks. Yes. Oh, wow. That hurts. Money, money, money. There you go, sir. The nice thing is, is, is at the end of the round, after we do our scoring, then all the money resets. So each player goes back to having 10 of the fives and five of the ones. I could hit you, but it's only gonna be very low numbers. So let's just try to go for threes. I wish I kind of would have went for my fives. But see what we get here. Okay. So I can score every one of these. I can use these three in order to open my threes. I'll use that to close my three. I will use that one to make another three to collect three dollars. And I will use the one to collect another. So I'll collect four total. Can I have a dollar back please? You can. I'm still down money though. Normal for you, isn't it? It is. Hand me the money. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I can't not. Um. You're killing me. <gasps> Can I have $25, please? Wow. Do you have that much? Yes, I have that much. I've never had this happen before. Usually fives you get last, not at the beginning of the game. No. This is what's hurting you. And when you run out of money, you are not out of the round, but you can no longer collect money from the other players. So. Well, I could. Hmm. I have a feeling you're just going to keep hitting me. I got to. The threes aren't going to get me enough money. <sighs> that is Hate the dreaded, that. the don't count. My last roll. And I didn't get enough fives. But you have... So, um, I did... I can use my three and my two, so I will get $5 from you. Okay, that's all you can collect. Yeah, not much. Nope. Nothing! Ooh, you can uh, open your fours and your twos. Ones. Twos. Or you can try to... Close your fours as well, and you can start hitting me on that. I think that's what I'll do. Yas! Open and close my fours. Did you have one more roll? Or is that your third roll? No, that was my roll. Wasn't it? I don't remember. Yeah, because my first one didn't count. Oh, that's right. So, this one, I will open and close, and I will open my one. And that is it. All right. <clears throat> Better solidify getting those fours taken care of if I can. There we go. All right, so I can open and close my fours. So at least now the only thing you can hit me with is the fives. But Open and close my twos, close my one, and take five from you, please. Whoop. I'll re-roll that since matter. it came out of the box. Oh, same thing. All right. Oh. Well, I think I got to go for it. Because the only way I'm going to close the red one out there. for any money. So, so you've opened. Yeah. Which cannot close. Okay. Decisions, decisions. Well, here's the thing. You're going to win the money part. I know, but I like taking all yours. So are you saving all those fives? Yep. I'll close my two. 
I'll take $25 from you, please, and you don't have that much. I don't. So you get all my money, and I can't collect anymore. But that's kind of okay. normal, ain't it? Because all I got to do is get a five, and at least that'll get me two points. So I'm not even going to roll anymore. I'll just close my fives, and that'll end the round. So I get I the most collect. money, so I get one point, right? You get one point, I'm going to get two points. So then we clear our boards. Yeah, put two up there. Huh? You only put one up. No, I I got my two. Oh, I always put... Oh, I see yeah. what you're saying. Okay. So we're going to clear our boards. We're going to reset the money. No, you can't have it back. So since you have all the money, just divide it in half and give me, you know, half. It's like divorce. Half. So since you went first, I'll go next. Or I'll start in the next round. Well, I'll keep the threes. Come on. Ah. Well, at least I can open my threes. Nothing. Surprised you went for your ones instead of trying to use all those mm, dice to roll for fours. Okay. You know, what do you do? What do you do? Mm. Well, let's see. I know that. You know what? I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to open and close my ones. I will open and close my twos. And nope, I'm not collecting money from you, and I'll use that one to close my threes. Oh, you don't want any money. Okay. Well, that way I get them closed. Well, so the four is not going to do me any good, but I can, you don't have your twos open either. So I would collect nine, 10, 11 from you. Thank you. Open your fives. Yep. Can't pass that up. Come on, five. Oh, whammy, whammy. So I can score at least my two. Uh, two dollars, please. Thank you. Open and close my fours. Close my fours. Uh, I mean, open, open them. Yeah. yeah, I didn't mean close them. Close my fives and take five from you. Don't like any of that. And I don't really like that on... Second roll. Second roll. So let's just keep the three... So I can at least get some money out of that. All right, so I'll score six, ten dollars. Thank you. Wah, wah. That's my third. 
Yeah. So I'll open and close my twos, and I'll close my well, fours. Here, can I make a suggestion? What? You could open your threes and open your twos. No, I'm going to close my fours and close my... No, I can't do that. Yeah. So basically, you're going to use that see. as a four, and you're going to use that to open and close your twos. Yeah. So the only thing left you have will be your threes. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Gotcha. Okay. So let's try to get these fives. Mm -hmm. Come on, baby. One more. Oh, Now, stinks. this stinks. Man, I would have had my fives opened at least. Go for the money, honey. Oh shoot! No, I forgot. I didn't need my fours, but that's all right. I mm -hmm. Totally forgot. Yeah, keep that five and drain me some more of money. No. 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 Okay. All right. So I screwed gonna get, that up. You're gonna get twelve bucks from me. Yeah, I screwed that up. though. I should have kept the five. I wasn't thinking like that. I was thinking. Okay. Well, let's go for the fours. Oh, that's hard. If you pick up no, your... I gotta try to get the fours. I gotta, oh, okay. better, gotta go with the odds, and the odds are not in my odds favor. Odds are not with you today. Well, hang on. I can use that star for three. Okay. Thank you. So let's see. Yeah, one three. I need a three. Now I gotta try to close them. Let's get another, yeah. Oh, you did it. Oh, so I open and close, so I won that part. And the twos are not gonna get you anything. So you're gonna get two points for being the first player to oh, play yeah, the board. Oh, yeah, two, not one. Or, Sorry. And then we count up the money to see who's gonna get that other point. I have more money. Eight dollars more. So. I get 46 bucks. So I get one point. Yep. So we're tied at three. Yep. So. Next game, we'll decide it. I get to go first. Open my fours. Close. Open and close my fours. That's not a bad thing. That's the same number. Was it? Every time we bounce yeah. a die out of there, we've always rolled the same number again. That's really weird. Huh. Well, you might as well keep the star. Well, you could open your know, trees and am. close your okay. fours and open and close your ones. Sorry. So, that's my threes. That's my fours. That's my ones. Yep. Well, let's keep those. And, oops, that was two. So I will open and close my ones and open my twos. That will open, that will close. That will close, and then I'll take four from you. Uh, you probably want to take five. You can use the, yeah, you use you the star as a three. Since, oh, I don't since have you don't have closed. three. Okay, that's work. Yeah, I'll take five. 
So now all I need are fives. Yep. So hard to do. So I think it's fives. Well, let's see. I can use that to open my threes. You can also close your twos. And I can close my twos. Yep, that's it. Now, when the lightning bolt does come up, I don't remember if I mentioned this, but any of the dice that you've previously saved are still fine. You just This just negates the roll. Couple of fives. Well, I'll use that as a three to close my threes. Threes. Well, I don't think I'm going to roll enough, but nope. I can't do anything with those. So. Four, not so enough. Close. This is the point of, of the game that actually kind of slows down. Oh, and you got the red die out of there. That's going to help. Now if I can't throw anything worthwhile. Oh, I, I got it. I got him open. All right. Just need one five to win. Oh, there you got three there. Yeah, but I would need all six. I know, to... but it's happened. I don't know what to go. No, I uh, couldn't even close it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the money's pretty close here. So, yeah. Oh. I don't think it's going to matter, though. I think Because nope. you're going to get at least 10 bucks from me. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, close that. I'm going to get $10. Well, even no, if you didn't... I get 15 Yeah. So... But even... Then one point wouldn't get two. that. So yeah. So let's hand mom the trophy yet again. Yay! Do you have room on your trophy shelf? Yes, I'll make room. Okay. So now that we've given mom the trophy, let's get to what we think. Okay, I guess I'll go first this time. Um, this is a light filler game. Uh, I've taken this and I've actually played this with my lunch group uh, with a full complement, I think, of six players. Now, as far as the game goes, they said that this game needs to have beer with it because this is a game that you're going to just be sitting around. You're not going to really be doing anything on your turn except handing over, or when it's not your turn, except handing over money. Uh, and one guy even said, yeah, he would play this with his kids when he's watching TV uh, because he doesn't have to really think about it. Uh, but they said, yeah, adding beer to it would, would definitely help. It's a very easy game. It's chuck and dice. Uh, all luck driven, but, uh, you know, it's a fun little game. It's definitely not one you're going to pull out when you want to have something serious. This is a game that you can introduce to non-gamers 
Everybody's used to, you know, playing Yahtzee. The mechanics are very simple, you know, open and close the numbers on your player board and then collect money from other players who don't have that closed. So uh, easy to learn, easy to teach. Uh, for that aspect, I like the game. It, like I said, I would use this to introduce to non-gamers. So, Mom, what do you think? It's an easy game, except when you're just rolling for fives at the very end, it gets a little monotonous. Yeah, because that's the hardest to get. Yeah. Other than that, it's fine. It's a quick, easy game. Yeah. Uh, Component-wise, the... Uh, this is where I really have some negatives. The chips themselves, they're fine. You know, they're they're sturdy cardboard. The numbers are, you know, nice and clear to to read. But where I have issues is the player boards themselves. Uh, you can see they are a tad warped. And I think from what I've heard from other players or other people who have this game, that their player boards are the same. Um, so that's one negative. The other negative I have is that these tokens are not double-sided. So you can't just flip these out of your board uh, because you're gonna have these, you're gonna have to flip over. It's kind of a negative, um, or it's a very minor thing, but at the same time, I think they could have, I mean, it's called Rollers Deluxe. You know, I really wish they would have printed on the reverse side. But the dice themselves, I think, are really cool. Um, you know, having the red die there and the green die, these are nice quality dice. Uh, they roll well, really well. I probably need a deeper uh, uh, dice tray to roll them in, but this really wasn't a dice tray. It's just a box that we used. But uh, other than that, everything else is good. So that is Rollers Deluxe, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye. So one other thing, uh, the game does play up to six players, and I just want to quickly show you the player colors. So we have obviously the green and the purple that mom and I just used. We also have blue, so in case Megan wants to play. We also have gray and white and brown. If you would like to support us, you can visit patreon.com slash dadvdaughter. Like and follow us on Facebook to stay current on our show schedule, sneak peeks at future shows, and to interact with us.